When you're creating a PowerPoint presentation, it's important for accessibility to use the pre-formatted slide layouts that are provided, other than this blank slide. It's important to use these pre-formatted slides. If you absolutely must have a different layout, you want to create that new layout in the, with the Slide Master, and you reach that by, under the View tab, click Slide Master, find a slide layout that's similar to the one you want to create, and then duplicate it so you don't overwrite the existing layout, and then rename it and edit that layout you can insert a new placeholder and then close the master view and your new layout should appear there it is, well, uh, on the provided layouts. And then the next thing you want to do is, um, after you use the slide, is to um, check the reading order. So let me just fill in some contents here. Okay, to test the reading order, click on the slide, but not on any particular content. You don't want to just click on the slide, but don't have any text or content highlighted. And then click the tab key, and as you tab through the slide, it will show you the reading order that a screen reader or other assistive technology will present the slide to the student. So it's important that it's it's read in the correct order. So you can tell from this it will read the the sc a screen reader would read the title text first, then it would read the column one contents, and then it would read column three, and then finally column two. Well, I want it to read column one first, then column two, and then column three. So the way to change that is to go to this arrange. Icon and click the click it and go to selection pane, and you'll see then the contents. If you click on an area, it will highlight the content, and you can change the order of it. So here's column one contents. There's column two contents. I would like to bring that down so it's read in the correct order. So you can see I moved that with this reorder, these reorder um, buttons. I moved it down so things are read from the bottom up. So title one it will read, then it will read column one, then it will read column two, and then it will read column three. So I can show you again if I click on the slide but not any particular content, you know I want to click out here, it'll read title text first, column one, column two, column three. And um, that's how you change the reading order of a slide. And it's really important to check. So some a, a blind user or um, user with low vision who's using a screen reader, you want to make sure the contents is read to them in the order that you want it to be read.